Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a song called Made in the USA by Demi Lovato. And we're going to start out and, and reposition, kind of walk through some things. We're going to end up capoing this on first fret to kind of match the recording. We're going to start on a G major chord, and when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. From the G major, we're going to be going to a D major chord. When we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. When we play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds an E minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord. If you put the first finger on the B string on the first fret, the second finger on the D string on the second fret, the third finger on the A string on the third fret, and you strum, you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. Randomly, <laughs> this particular progression also sounds a lot like the beginning of Wagon Wheel and Cruise. Uh, if you know those things. Um, but, but a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down. So if you just take the G and try that a lot. You have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. We'll talk about another strum pattern in a, in a moment to kind of match that last pattern that you definitely hear it uh, in the playing. So it, uh, from the G though, if you try that through our progression, we have G with a down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up. pattern though that, 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 uh, that Demi plays there, the, the, the cool thing about that particular strum pattern is a 16th note strum pattern instead of an 8th note pattern. So what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, or right now we're dividing our beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, that's called an 8th note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite strum patterns, uh, 16th patterns to work with, and this is very close to what, what Demi's playing at the very, very end, is down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And so what I mean by that is if you take the G and do it down for four, one, two, three, 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 four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you're doing down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, up, down, one, up, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So if we try that through um, all together, then you have down. So, so if we tried that through our chord progression, we'd have G with down, 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 up, up, down, 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 D, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, C, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, C, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, C, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, C, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, and then we're basically repeating that progression until we get to our bridge part. And on our bridge, we start on E minor, and then we go to C, and then we go to G, and then we go to D, and then we go to E minor, and then we go to a C major, and it's almost like a couple hits there. You may want to do kind of a down, down, kill it idea on that C chord. So if we tried that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have E minor down, down, up, down, C, down. Now the, the pattern that, that Demi uses at the very, very end though, 
just to kind of go over this variation, at the very, very end of the outro, you can kind of definitely hear that she's doing a down, 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 up, up, down, down, and down, which is very close to what we were just doing. So if you want to try this, you'd have down, 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 up, up, down. Instead of starting on a G major chord, he was actually starting on an A flat major chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is take a capo, and if you put the capo on first fret, then now your G is really an A flat major, your D is really an E flat major, your E minor is really an F minor, and your C major is really a D flat major. <laughs> but if, if we kind of took that with a down, down, up, up, down, up, you would have G with a down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D minor. I like adding bass notes, and on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass note for the chord, and it's kind of really good. So on the G, you can go low E for your bass, and then kind of keep you, the rest of your down, up, up, down, up. You got G with a bass, down, up, up, down, G with a bass, down, up, up, down. And on the D, you can do the D string for your bass, D bass, down, up, up, down. On the E minor, you got the low E string for your bass, E you bass, down, up, up, down. But on the C, you got the A string for your bass. You wanted to kind of play those bass notes, you can kind of simulate playing with a bass player. Do the D bass down, up, up, down, up, down, bass down, up, up, down, C with the A bass down, up, up, down, C with the Louis bass down, up, up, down, C with the D bass down, up, up, down, D minor with the Louis bass down, up, up, down, C with the D bass down, up, up, down, up. Or you could try it with the with the um, the sixteenth notes drum pattern. They have G the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, D down.
don't actually like Wonderwall voicings. Um, you you kind of substitute those in for these two. So on the G major, for instance, I just jumped into this randomly. You got first finger on the A string, second, second finger on the low E string, third, third finger on the B string, third, and then the pinky on the high E string, third. So you could kind of substitute in that G major for your G's. On the D major, actually, randomly, I like playing around with with, with suspended shapes. So if you took the pinky and kind of added them in on the third fret. That's how they call D sus or D suspended. Or if you took the D major and kind of lifted off your second finger, that's called D sus two. So you can think while you're on that chord, you might want to kind of play around with a nice little cool little uh, D suspended. Lead. And then on the E minor, you can use something called E minor seven, where you do first finger on the A string second, second finger on the D string second, third finger stage on the B string third fret, pinky goes to the high E string on the third fret. That's called E minor seven, which is very cool. Boy. And then another voicing for C, you may want to play around with a C major non. So if you did first finger on the D string second, second finger on the A string third, third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E third. Looks a lot like that G major, but you're off by a string. So you may want to kind of play around with those voicings. The bass notes would be in the same place. So at the very, very end, we've got kind of that other strum pattern too, where we got kind of that down, down. those voicings with that strum pattern you have to do the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, which might be kind of hip. G, bass, bass, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, bass, bass, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, bass, bass. Oh, I want to throw that in there. Or you can make it a bass down, right, bass. of how you can strum through Made in the USA by Demi Lovato. So good luck!